Uh, first of all, uh, I'd just like to point out that we do get results from these countries. Um, and um, Brett said that um, Haiti will not pay us back, but they can pay us back. If any of you have been to the Dominican Republic, Haiti used to look like that. And just by replanting their trees and using the aid that we give them properly, um, they, be they can also become a popular tourist destination. And that would help get their economy back up, and eventually they can pay us back. Um, Brad also pointed out the um, people working in the organizations, which um, just makes more jobs, and with um, people getting laid off every day, it's just another bonus. Um, the money that we, that we excuse um, um, from the different countries, it helps them, because if they have to worry about paying us back, they can't use that money to help them. In the future, they can pay us back, but in the meantime, they, they can use the money that they have to gain crops and um, get tourists and just rebuild their cities. Um, Michelle pointed out that um, we give food and then extra aid, but we gave the extra aid so that they can continue um, they can continue getting food and making and growing their own food and um, just rebuilding their cities to package their own food. And um, she also pointed out that we pack, um, we packaged a lot of the food, and a lot of the food that we sent there were um, either um, seeds um, so that they can grow, so that the poor farmers can grow uh, their own crops and eventually feed um, the rest of the country, or it was just fruits and vegetables, which were nutrients that a lot of the people in those countries were not getting. Um, people, um, Michelle said that we aren't helping them and that really um, we are helping them because without us we would have they would have never been able to rebuild like Morocco and Egypt um, when Michelle said that the government doesn't want our aid um, I mean that the country doesn't want our aid it's actually the government because the government is corrupt and they just take all the money but it's really the people, the people like the poor farmers and the working class, they want our aid. Um, my question is, what happens after we don't help them? Are we just going to let them die? I mean, there are other human, there are human beings as well. As said by Simon Wheel, is our eternal obligation towards the human being, towards human being, not to let him suffer from hunger when one has a chance of coming to his assistance.